Hey everybody, it's Kevin with Interstate Explorers, and in today's video we're talking about the Brinkley's air conditioning. Alright, so we're on the beginning of our summer road trip and we're stopping in Abilene, Texas. We're just here for the night and it is hot in Texas right now. We're in the middle of a record-breaking heat wave. In fact, I think several records have been broken already and there's heat advisors everywhere. Yesterday when we pulled in, it was probably about 105 degrees around 6 p.m. or so. When we went inside, um, the thermostat read it was 99, which is actually the max that the thermostat will go, so it's probably actually much higher than that. So uh, we figured it'd be a good time to talk about the air conditioning and how it performed. Okay, so this unit has two air conditioning units. It's got both Furion, so there's one right here. This is for the main living area, and then there's also a bedroom AC, and you can see that right over there. We are now inside the Brinkley, and I want to show you the different modes of the Furion thermostat. So right now, we have it on cool, and it's called cool, but you can rotate between that and heat, we don't want that. Or fan, and that just blows the, a fan. It doesn't actually use uh, the cold air, it's just a fan. And then there is a dry mode. Now the dry mode, what's different between that and the normal air conditioning mode is that the dry mode will stay on until uh, your thermostat reaches the temperature you set it to, and then it will cycle between on and off just like a normal air conditioning mode will. But if it is really hot outside and you need to cool your unit down, you want to set it to dry so that it uh, turns on immediately. Whereas the difference in with the cool mode is that it, you have to set it to a temperature and it, won't, and it will not turn on until that temperature is at the certain degree. So that's the difference between the dry and the cool mode. So depending on our situation, we in uh, some months here we usually cycle between the cool and the dry modes. This is the main air conditioning unit inside the Brinkley. Um, it's in the ceiling and so there's two different things you can do with this. Right now we have um, this left side here it is closed and so what that does when it's closed is it pushes more of the air into the other vents that are in the ceiling but um, you can open it too if you need maximum air because it's really hot. So when you open it, it pushes air straight down, but as you've noticed, it is really loud when you do that. So it's pretty much impossible to watch TV or even have a normal conversation. So you only really want to open that when it's really hot and you're trying to just get the maximum temperature to, to cool down quickly inside your unit. We're inside the bedroom. This is the bedroom fan. Now Brinkley refers to this as a fan because it's not the same air conditioning model that is found in the living room. This uh, for us is actually just a fan. There's no thermostat attached to this, but uh, because we ordered an earlier Brinkley model. But if you were to purchase a new model today, it does come with a thermostat to help control the temperature in here. So for us, we can only use the dials up here in the ceiling to adjust it. So you can use a fan, which is just air to blow through. You could change it to cool and get some cool air. There is a heat option, but we haven't used that yet, so we don't know because it's summer. And then um, when it's set to cool, you can choose the coldness. So that's a separate knob right here. If you want it colder or warmer air, you just adjust that like that. And then just like the living room unit, you can open the fan to get more air out if it's really hot. So all in all, the AC handled actually pretty well despite the conditions and it being like a record-breaking heat wave over like 100. Uh, it took a little while for the unit to get cooled down to a comfortable temperature. I'd say for the first probably 10 minutes or so, we were AC full blast standing underneath it just trying to cool ourselves down. But after about an hour, I'd say it was, it was a comfortable temperature and we kept the AC running for the rest of the evening. Actually, in fact, uh, once the sun went down and it started getting cooler, we actually even turned the AC down because we were just worried about getting too cold when we were sleeping. And uh, certainly when we woke up and after it had been night, it felt a lot better in the morning and we actually turned the AC off. So all in all, AC did well in the Texas record-breaking heat. And thank you for watching today's video. As always, we want to hear from you. So what kind of questions do you guys have? What kind of thoughts do you guys have? Drop those down in the comments, and uh, we want to hear from you. So as always, keep exploring. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.